Okay guys, it is time to answer the big question you all all wanted to know. Even though I am Goan, I live in Goa, I am born in Goa. Even though that why don't I support FC Goa and why am I supporting Mumbai? I'll answer that in this video. So hey guys, welcome back to ATZ TV. Thank you for stopping by for another video and this is going to get a little bit personal because this question is asked almost every time someone comes to know that I am from Goa, okay? That I live in Goa. Very common question and I think it's time to answer it. Why don't I support FC Goa and why am I supporting Mumbai? It's time to answer it I think so. So if you're new to the channel and you like football content check out our earlier content videos you know if you all enjoy it and of course if you all want to subscribe then do subscribe to if you all enjoy the videos. Now let us talk about FC Goa and me. Have I ever supported Goa? Yes, for the first two seasons that it is. I'll tell you all everything about me and FC Goa. So the thing is when ISL started okay I I was still watching I I was more of a IPL fan cricket fan at time and uh, the fact that a franchise was named after Goa Goa was playing at a very big uh, tournament okay I was happy that uh, my state was finally being represented even though it's football even though I wanted FC Goa to have, I mean Goa to have a cricket team that time I was happy and I was like yes I'm supporting Goa and you know that time when ISL just started there was a big hype train that wherever you are whoever you are your state you must support fc goa so i was in goa so everyone was like support fc goa and fair play it was that time you were a hype for me and i was like yes can't stay behind supported fc goa but even like that i never enjoyed i have gone you may ask me have i gone to a stadium to watch a match Yes, three times I think so. And uh, the first time I remember Chennai uh, Chennai in versus Goa Chennai in smash Goa 4-0. Uh, that is a different story and the last uh, time I went that's also a different story which I'll make a separate video for y'all. But yes, I have uh, I have uh, been with FC Goa supporters, you know, die hard fans and I have I speak to them and all it's fine. But how did I transition from FC Goa to Mumbai? It's time to reveal it. So let me get this clear. I don't have I don't hate Goa as such. Okay, I don't hate FC Goa. Yes, of course since I support Mumbai now, there is that rivalry. But the thing is I never enjoyed watching FC Goa matches. Goa play amazing. Yes, that's true. But I never enjoyed. And you could see this. It was not because the you know the second season that final where Goa lost in the last 2 minutes very controversy. No, nothing regarding to that. That is all fine, you know. But the thing that happened is that I never enjoyed okay watching uh, Goa and you know by this time I was you know trying to understand that FC Goa is just the name of the franchise okay someone has brought it and named it FC Goa because if you don't remember uh, they were that clubs being uh, names who were changed later on okay and uh, I realized this something I don't know what made me click about it but by the second season like my support and the hype to support FC Goa had gone down and uh, then the third season you know the disaster that all happened and i don't think i was watch i was still a more of a cricket fan okay and i was watching cricket okay ipl the thing is since the season since bengaluru came uh, because i heard about sunil chetri from uh, my friends and uh, people who are into football about sunil chetri i was like chalo let us support bengaluru fc because they have come from i league a league which was a little bit lower you see i knew about dempo i knew about salgaonkar uh, churchill brothers if you are goan you are you know about these clubs these clubs are used to play of course most of them uh, used to play in i league and they were a top quality clubs okay Uh, so then i was like you know okay this is i league team coming in isl okay Le- i then i went to support them and uh, i think uh, bengaluru won that season okay i'm not sure but even then i was not in depth support like you know die hard fan i was just like you know hey, sunil chetri is playing and i used to not even watch all the matches i remember the reason why i watched the finals of uh, bengaluru versus uh, fc goa okay was because uh, i had a paper the next day and it got got cancelled my board papers okay and uh, because of that then i was like bored and i just switched on the tv to watch the finals okay i didn't even care but the thing is 
in recent years i started supporting manchester city like uh, i'm not sure but i remember seeing the 100 points season okay i was a fan at time uh, season before that also i i think i started actually so yes i was a manchester city fan and why i support manchester city i'll explain in another video don't expect the answer now so yeah i used uh, so with that i uh, supporting manchester city i came to know about cfg that is city football group and how they have brought different clubs and i was like yes this is a good thing hopefully they do it in india also and then uh, cfg brought mumbai as you all know uh, mumbai is a city football group club now and after that since i i already was supporting uh, mumbai uh, manchester city i decided why not support mumbai okay since um, they have already bro uh, brought a club uh, in india why not support them and that is how i ended up supporting uh, you know mumbai city now i'll be some clear with you and that is do i actually hate fc goa see since goa is a rival of mumbai city there's always that rival we uh, you know thing like uh, you don't want your uh, biggest enemy to succeed but overall i want to clear some things fc goa have done some great things uh, in goa they have uh, developed football okay they have increased the knowledge of uh, football like i don't think before fc goa could come people knew about uh, the asian champions league or the AFC Cup. Uh, hell, I don't think people knew about. They used to be a ton uh, that Indian national team players. Okay, so uh, FC Goa has helped you know uh, educate people about football, which is very good. They have helped uh, create quality players. Okay, they have helped improve the standards of football in Goa, and they have done many other things that I need uh, need not tell about. FC Goa has done great things. Yes, I is not. I don't say that they are completely waste of time and a completely garbage dump. They are. A good club but i'm supporting mumbai now okay and i once i choose a side i don't leave it okay normally when i do a proper decision and since cfg is there currently if you we may see me for five seasons or so that i'm supporting mumbai it may be like that and even if cfg leaves i think it is not good to leave at the moment considering at the moment i'm like a in depth you know i have made my made my youtube channel itself of football okay all football content so leaving now won't make sense okay and uh, that's the thing that i would like to say i do support uh, what is that called i do hope that fc goa do well okay in the sense that uh, they help uh, more goans uh, make become quality footballers for the national team and for mumbai city to buy uh, but apart from that like it's all of course nothing much for fc goa can fc goa win the isl of course not <laughs> just joking guys uh, FC Goa is okay. Is I'm I have no bad feelings as such, no hate feelings as such. But it's a rivalry, same like for ATK Moon Bagan. I don't hate ATK Moon Bagan, but since they are our biggest enemy on the pitch and during the season, uh, it you know it happens like that. Okay, it's not a big deal. Okay, and this is what I want to tell you. This is the story of how I ended up supporting Mumbai City. I'll of course be a Mumbai City supporter. Maybe I may end up neutral in the future, depending on you don't know what the future says. What if a Mumbai City uh, ceases to exist? What if CFG leaves? What if FC Goa become the uh, title contenders every year? Uh, what if Bangalore FC go back to I League? Who knows what is her, what is there in the future? But for now, I am a Mumbai City supporter. And there were people asking, "Am I a glory hunter? Do I go in the top club only? Go and uh, uh, you know support successful clubs?" And my answer is no. Okay, I don't support depending on their success. Okay, when I started supporting Mumbai, I mean Manchester City, I think Pep Guardiola was just new that time, so I don't think they had won so many trophies as they have won now. But I see that I enjoy what I'm watching. Okay, and uh, as long as I enjoy, I have some connection, some you know unknown connection of the God knows what I say, but. that's the story okay and for now i enjoy i even enjoy watching other uh, clubs succeed okay because of course in the end of the day i my main goal is that indian football develops maybe one day we win the asian champions league maybe one day india wipers uh, is in the world cup these are some dreams that i actually would love that you know they become true before i kick the bucket so this is my short story for you all about why i support fc i mean why i don't support fc goa even by being a goan and if you want to question me or want to roast me in the comments now you know 
go do it i don't mind it's fine it's all fine when goa wins uh, you all can uh, celebrate you know your small celebrations this is fine it's all good thank you once again for watching this video hopefully you all enjoyed it hopefully i didn't bore you all okay and if any of you all ask me this question once again this link is going to be sent to you all so thank you once again for watching this video do like share subscribe see you all in more videos coming soon in the near future goodbye take care and stay safe